There's a lot of ways Kansans describe Susan Wagle. A dedicated wife and mother, a trusted conservative, a successful small business owner, and a government reformer. But maybe the best way to describe Susan Wagel is relentless fighter. I've never been one to sit on the sidelines when I see an injustice, someone being taken advantage of, or a flawed idea that I know is going to hurt Kansas families. You better believe I'm going to stand up and fight with everything I have. And boy has she. The first woman to ever serve as head of the Kansas State Senate, Susan has made a real impact, like fighting tirelessly to protect every unborn child. Not only has she passed 15 critical pro-life bills, when liberal New York politicians passed an unconscionable late-term abortion law, Susan Wegel didn't let state lines get in the way of making Kansans' disapproval being heard loud and clear all across America. My faith and science tell me that life begins at conception. And whether right here in Kansas or anywhere else, I will always stand up for those who can't stand up for themselves because every beating heart is a child of God. Susan has also joined President Trump in leading the fight to drain the swamp and end politician corruption and taxpayer abuse that has gone on for far too long. I was appalled at how government contracts were being handed out without any oversight or transparency. That's just plain wrong. So I put an end to it. But Susan Wagel didn't stop there. She also launched a public investigation into how taxpayer money was being misused on excessive salaries, travel, and entertainment. And when it comes to protecting our constitutional rights, our Kansas jobs, and the Kansas agriculture community we depend dearly on, no one is fighting harder than Susan Wagel. Just ask our ranchers and farmers. After Susan successfully took on the EPA and their job-killing policies, just ask the NRA who awarded Susan an A rating for her staunch Second Amendment support and for helping to pass constitutional carry in Kansas. And Susan didn't just join President Trump in fighting for his critical tax cuts for families. She led the fight in Kansas for lower property taxes and lower business taxes. President Trump is proving that conservative principles like lower taxes, less regulation, and smarter spending is working for hardworking families. And I'm fighting every day to make sure he has an ally for the Trump agenda right here in Kansas. But maybe the most difficult and challenging fight of Susan Wagle's life was the fight she had beating cancer. My family, like many other families, has had our share of healthcare battles. Our battles have instilled in me a strong commitment to provide a health care system for all Americans, a system that ensures every family high-quality care, coverage for pre-existing illnesses, and the affordability they deserve. But socialized medicine, which leads to long waits, poor care, lack of choice, and health care rationing, is never the answer. With so much on the line for Kansas and America, Susan Wagle is now ready for a new fight, a fight to take on the radical left in Washington and give President Trump the conservative reinforcements he needs. After talking to my family and listening to hardworking taxpayers all across Kansas, and after months of praying for guidance, I've decided to announce that I'm officially a candidate to represent Kansas in the United States Senate. And just like I've always done, I will represent you with honor work tirelessly on your behalf, and fight every day for our shared Kansas values. Just visit TeamWagle.com to join the fight. Make Susan Wagle Kansas's next United States Senator.